just imagine how would it feel if you can start your React Native project with a full deployment process ready for you out of box and your app in Apple App Store and Google Play in just a few minutes. So you can focus on developing your awesome features and shipping them to your users without delays. My name is Igor, and in this video, I will show you exactly how to do that. Instead of wasting time trying to figure it out and make it work, B Plus Bootstrap Mobile will make it for you. You will walk away with a production-ready React Native app, customized to your needs, deployed to your own Apple App Store and Google Play, with a fully automated deployment process, in this case with Bitrise, so your next build can be shipped with a single click of a button. Before I will dive in, let me tell you something. Shipping mobile apps is hard. There are just so many moving parts, which are so complex, that making them work all together just takes a lot of time. This complexity is also the reason why only 10% of teams have said that they have their mobile release workflow fully automated. Only 10%. What about you? Are you shipping your apps fast, on time, with no delays? Let's dive in so you can see how B Plus Bootstrap Mobile can revolutionize your mobile deployment workflow. The first thing I'm going to do is to create my React Native app from scratch. To do that, I will use B plus Bootstrap Mobile GitHub repository and B plus CLI in order to make my application ready on my machine. So let's switch to the terminal and run B plus Bootstrap Mobile start. This process will check out the source code from GitHub you can also fork the repository and check it out from your own repo or you can do it at a later stage. The script will also make sure that all of the dependencies are properly installed. So by the end of it, you will have your project fully set up and running on your machine. Why I'm starting from a B plus bootstrap mobile repo and not a React Native CLI starter template. The reason is that the B plus Bootstrap Mobile has several customizations, but I don't want this to be a black box for you, and I want you to understand like why I did some of the changes, so you can easily check them out in a B plus Mobile playbook in the refinement section, where you will see each of the changes that are being done from the normal React Native CLI template to B plus Bootstrap Mobile and why I did all of these changes. More to this refinement part, you will also find that the B plus Bootstrap mobile repository contains a React Native config, so it's ready to be configured by environment variables, which I will use heavily in the process down the line. So coming back to the terminal, I can see that my project is ready and I can start using it. That's all you have to do to create your React Native app. It's basically the latest React Native CLI template with icons and launch screens configured for both platforms, easily configurable by environment variables, and there's also a fast lane integration for both Android and iOS, which will help us speed up the whole build process. Next, I'm going to set up my CI CD on Bitrise in order to automatically deliver my app to both Test Flight and Google Play. But I'm not going to do it in a Bitrise UI. I will use B plus CLI again. But why? Everything I do manually is not going to be an easily replicable process. And Having like five apps, it's not going to be effective. Also, I don't like having my configuration variables everywhere across the cloud. Like my best practice is to keep them on a single place. And actually even better is, is to keep them on a single place that I actually own. In this case, it's going to be my own AWS account. Stay with me. You will see it when I'm done. So for now, I need an AWS account and a Bitrise account. In order to simplify the AWS part, there's B plus tool. The only thing you have to do is to run B plus provisioning install. The more details about what's B plus provisioning, I will cover in a separate video. But for now, it's enough for you to know that it's a tool that will allow you to 
deploy various cloud resources to AWS or through AWS to various B plus integrations like we are going to, going to do with Bitrise right now, much more easier. Installation process can take up to one or two minutes. And once it's done, you will see CDK toolkit and a Dev B plus provisioning stack installed in your AWS account. That's everything that's required for now for the AWS part. With B plus provisioning installed in my AWS account, let's start actually adding my mobile app and everything that's required in order to create the whole workflow on Bitrise and deploy the app to App Store Connect and Google Play. And you already know what I'm going to use to create my app. Yes, B plus CLI. The command to add my app through B plus provisioning and create everything that's required on Bitrise, the command is B plus provisioning add app. When you run that command, it will guide you through a series of questions. As I've already said, the details about B plus provisioning will be covered in a separate video. But for now, let's stick with the default where I will add a product called Bootstrap with an application called mobile in a dev environment. My application name is gonna be Bootstrap. You can choose whether you wanna build iOS and Android. I'm choosing to go with both platforms. Based on my platform selection, I have to specify my bundle identifier, which is for iOS or Android application ID or package name, which is for Android and a namespace. Next, I'm being asked about the details where my source code is stored. I will choose GitHub. I already have my own GitHub added here. So I will choose my GitHub account and I already have my Bitrise SSH key added so it will be automatically provisioned to Bitrise through this process. In case you don't have it there anywhere in this step, you can just add new and follow the process. The next step are details about app stores, Apple App Store and Google Play. In order to programmatically access those app stores, I need to have credentials. The credentials are App Store Connect API key and Google Developer Service Account JSON file. How to get those, you will get the detailed instructions in the free mobile playbook. I will cover the whole process, how to add these within this process or separately into your account. So every time you will add a new app, you can easily reuse them as I'm doing right now. So for now, I will choose my team B plus cloud. Next is fast lane configuration. The whole automation of builds is being done with Fastlane, but it's not just about the builds. It's also about managing iOS code signing, meaning signing certificates and provisioning profiles, and also creating the apps in App Store Connect. So I have my Fastlane configuration already in place. And once I have my team in a Fastlane config, B plus CLI can load my existing apps from App Store Connect and Apple Developer in order to let me choose like which one I want to use. In case you want to create a new one, feel free to do that and B plus CLI will create the app for you. For now, I will choose B plus Bootstrap for development environment. B plus CLI will then ask whether I want to sync code signing certificates and provisioning profiles. Yes, I want that. So as a part of this process, it will make sure that the signing assets for the particular app, meaning there's a valid distribution certificate, there, there are provisioning profiles that correspond to the app with the bundle identifier I just created and all of that. The process will take care of it, whether you are running it locally or it will run in a cloud or it will run in a Bitrise. So for now, my App Store configuration is done. One of the last steps is obviously Google Play. So let's also choose my Google Play account and configuration that's already in place and a Google Play upload key. Upload key is kind of Android key store, but with Google Play up signing the process or the terminology being used is a little bit different. But again, as with Apple and App Store and Apple Developer, everything related to Google, Google Play and Android is also covered deeply in a free mobile playbook, so feel free to check that out.
As a next step, I can choose my mobile CI-CD provider. As I've said many times earlier in this video, I am going to go with Bitrise. But again, the reason why am I doing it this way is at any point of time, I can say, I want to change my CI-CD provider from Bitrise to GitHub Actions. I want to change my CI-CD provider from GitHub Actions to CodeMagic. You can do it at any point of time. Normally, what would it mean is you will delete the apps in the Bitrace UI. You will go to the other provider of choice and you will say, OK, let's configure everything from scratch. With B plus CLI and B plus Bootstrap, what you can do is simply change the configuration and the next build will automatically happen on the platform of your choice. So migrating from platform to platform based on your needs is easier than ever. I will choose my Bitrise account, which will load the available workspaces. And I'm done. My application was just provisioned to AWS. B plus provisioning will take care of the rest. I want to show you one important thing. In case I will switch to my AWS account, I can see that the provisioning was kicked off with the process I just did. At the same time, I want to show you that my Bitrise is completely empty. There is no application in there. By the end of this process, I will have both iOS and Android builds running in Bitrise. Just a minute or two later, when the provisioning process was successfully completed, you can see that in code pipeline, there's a new pipeline for your mobile app. You can check the details. There are several steps. I will cover the details about these steps again in a separate video, as is it beyond the scope of just this quick demo. But basically, the prepare step will make sure, for example, that the signing is properly synchronized and there are no expiring certificates or invalid provisioning profiles. It will also make sure that the latest developer agreement was properly accepted by the account holder in Apple Developer Portal. Like all of the things that might cause a failure to your build. And my strategy is to fail as soon as possible. So I don't need to run through a 30 minutes long build to fail at the end just by knowing that, okay, your developer agreement was not accepted. It's a wasted time effort and resources, right? The next step is integrate. And I can see that it's just completed right now. So let me switch quickly to Bitrise and refresh the console. And I can see that my Bootstrap Mobile iOS and Bootstrap Mobile Android apps were created. They were created from scratch without me even touching the console. You can take a look at the workflow and all of the steps are automatically in there. The interesting part about this is there are no code signing files. There are no secrets. There are just basic environment variables and that's it. The whole configuration is being provided by B plus CLI. And every time you will change something with B plus CLI, the is in your own AWS account, the next build that will be executed will reflect that configuration. Another nice part about this way of setting the automated workflow is that with every single update to B plus CLI, B plus configuration, B plus provisioning, B plus integration with Bitrise, you get the latest versions of everything and you can keep your whole workflow up to date don't accumulate tech debt. And as I have said, switching from provider to provider is going to be easier than ever. Just configuring the integration and switching the integration on the app you want to build somewhere else. That's it. You also keep all of your configuration variables securely on a single place, which is your own AWS account or many of them. I'm interested about what you have to say about this process of setting up a mobile deployment pipeline. And I'm looking forward to improving it over time because B plus Bootstrap Mobile is just the start of it. 
I've created a whole built ecosystem called B plus cloud. This is just about to unfold. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.